Tonight on the Muskie Daily, the women's basketball team fell to Marietta at home on Wednesday night. We take a look at this week's featured organization. And the Neuroscience Club returns to Muskingum's campus. All that and more starts now. The Neuroscience Club is back to Muskingum this year. They have weekly meetings led by the president of the club, Rochelle Lashley. It has been several years since Muskingum was home to its very own Neuroscience Club. Over the past year, the club has been reestablished and is more than happy to reintroduce themselves to the campus. The club meets every other Thursday during Common Hour, and according to the club president, Rochelle Lashley, you can find them there in Boyd, room 439, discussing many things, from planning upcoming events to sharing fun facts about the brain. In a typical neuroscience club meeting, we talk about events we're going to be hosting, or like our brood awakenings, or talk about different programs and things we're going to go see, neuroscience conventions, getting stuff for those set up and a little bit of brain information. You can also catch the Neuroscience Club at Brood Awakenings on Thursday, March 30th, where they will be hosting a night of fun with sensory illusions, magic tricks, and Panera Bread. The club is all-inclusive. Anyone who is interested or just wants to learn more are welcome to join the club or sit in on a meeting. Anybody who wants to or has an interest in brains is able to join. It's not specific towards neuroscience majors. It's anybody like a business major or an English major and still be able to join. It's open to all of campus. You can contact the club president, Rochelle Lashley, for more information at r-l-a-s-h-l-e-y at muskingum.edu. For Orbit Media News, I'm Kate Morgan. Crew, a caring community passionate about connecting people to Jesus, is this week's featured campus organization. Crew is a national organization that reaches out to students in all walks of life across many campuses. Junior Asa Klein is on the leadership team for the Muskingum chapter of Crew. Crew is a crusade for campus um, sort of thing. It goes across all of the nation. It's a campus-driven organization that tries to bring Christ to as many of the students on campus as possible. We make a huge Christian community out of as much as we have then just bring it to the students. The crew weekly meetings are at 8 at night in the bottom of the chess center and are open to everyone. Each meeting includes announcements, icebreaker games, singing songs, and a weekly guest speaker that talks about different life topics, followed by group discussion. It's just so nice to be a part of a community that you can just be a part of, get in touch with each other, have fun. And, I mean, that's all Christianity is. It's not about a serious you know, in-depth, get into the Bible all the time. But what you take away from it is having fun with everyone. Crew also hosts many events, including numerous Bible studies, slime time with MPB, multiple Brinners, and Powell serving gals, which is coming up at the end of February. For Orbit Media News, I'm Aaron Eno. For this week's One Minute Review, Matt and Aaron discuss the newest Power Rangers trailer. Hey guys, it's Tree. DJ Ace. On this episode of One Minute Review, we're going to be talking about... Power Rangers. Yeah, new trailer just dropped, and they showcased the Megazord for the first time. Yeah, it was big, it was epic, mm -hmm. it was awesome. And they, of course, they ended the trailer with it, and it was, it was amazing, outstanding. Punching giant monsters like yeah. a pro. Yeah. Since the 90s. Yes. <laughs> but um, I think that, of course, besides that, the suits, they look really good. I think they've developed them a lot from the previous pictures that we've seen before the trailers are actually released. Uh, Rita's looking a lot more sinister, played yeah. by Elizabeth Banks. So. And, and of course, we have uh, Brian, Brian Cranston as Zordon. And then we have... Uh, Guy in the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, the main five people, they look pretty cool, yeah. main five characters. Uh, it looks like they're getting along, going yeah. out. There's comedic moments. Comedic moments intermixed between the drama, it looked like. So yeah. that's always pretty fun. Um, and, and they have their own little robot. They're not going to take it too seriously, hopefully. Like, I think that's what I'm getting from, that's the impression I'm getting at least. They're going to yeah. make it fun and not just a total like serious movie. So yeah. I think they're going to have a nice balance. Power Rangers comes out on March 24th. We'll be there. Yes, we will. See you guys next time.
The Lady Muskie basketball team fell to OAC foe Marietta at home Wednesday night, 74-67. Alex Carson paced the attack with 15 points on the night, but poor free throw shooting in the second half plagued the Muskies. The loss brings the Muskies to 10-14 and 14 overall, with a 6-11 mark in the OAC. The ladies find themselves in a tie for sixth place in the conference, going into the final game of the regular season against Heidelberg, with the student princes nipping right on the Muskies' heels in the standings. Coach Fox stressed how important focus is going to be in her post-game interview with Andrew Dunlap. Yeah, you know, heart's great and, and all, but we got to have focus for 40, so... Yeah, we appreciate them playing hard, but they need to stay focused and, and stay on the game plan for the entire game. The two teams face off Saturday in the ANC Steel Center to finish off the year. You can catch the game live on the Orbit Media Sports Network with radio pregame beginning at 2.30 and Orbit TV coverage tipping off at 2.50. Muskie men's basketball had a rough outing against rival Marietta on the road Wednesday night Falling 94-76, Josh Keyes led the way offensively with 19 points and 8 rebounds on the night. The loss brings the Muskies to 13-11 and 11 overall and 7-10 and 10 in the OAC. The men are back in action on Saturday when they go on the road to wrap up the regular season against Heidelberg. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Muskie Daily. Be sure to catch next week's episode for more local news. Have a good night, New Concord.